recording? Yeah, recording. Okay. So, it's back to summer video. Uh, we're in Clifton Fire Escape number four. We were not able to uh, bring the ladder down, so this is an emergency in case of fire. People won't be able to get down. Uh, we tried it, but it's stuck over here. So that's an emergency repair. And then again, if we go over the fire escape, uh, we got a lot of uh, cement work in this uh, fire escape, in all of them actually. There's a lot of holes in the wall and we cannot verify at this time what is doing to the steel inside the wall. Uh, same thing here with uh, threads. Threads, you can see a lot of um, separation, especially one in the bottom here, if you can show it, Frank. The one that we were capturing right here. You see the separation already. A lot of rust in between. You can see all of those. These threads, they need to come off. They need to be wire brushed. They need to be scraped. They need to be primed, and they need to be Seal with the uh, 50 year old silicone, then you put the clean thread back in here with new hardware. Okay, um, um, you got Okay, uh, again, good point, Frank. Don't be afraid to speak. We have these uh, corners here that are sticking out, and I believe Frank just hit his head on it, and I could easily do myself. So be careful with this, they need to be cut off so people do not get hurt. Major connections, re bolted. Again, city official may ask for this to be sealed on one side anyways, or two sides, because a small child can fall from that gap. Again, we talked about the ladder, unable to bring it down because of this space right here. Uh, is, uh, that piece right there is uh, uh, keeping it from falling. So then, again, gassets, rebolting, corners, tails, and uh, noses and tails. Uh, Obstruction, a lot of obstructions in this fire escape, trash, toys, ACs. Uh, if you can get a close up to the connection, if you keep going up, Frank, we can show the holes in the wall where the, con uh, where the uh, steel comes out of the building and we cannot verify this at this moment. Uh, this fire escape needs to be scraped and painted. Uh, also, it needs to be handled by a EPA license, renovator's license vendor, because this fire escape contain lead. Again, uh, a lot of the instruction. instruction in the fire escape. You see the corners over there, they need to be revolted. Uh, somebody did some repacking on the wall over there, but it's not done right. Um, <coughs> Again, a lot of debris obstructions, and this seems to be in good condition. Just some of them are missing to capture that. Okay, and uh, we need to rebolt every connection, front and back, the ladder. As you can see the gooseneck is loose, top, original hardware all over. This cable needs to be replaced, this hardware needs to be replaced. And if the pinwheel is in good condition, we can keep it. But that's, we'll find out that one. The repairs are being done. The stiffeners, they need to be uh, rebolted. And, and we talked about that corner there. Oh, Eclipse, Eclipse right here. Again, just like the other one. Rusted connections, Eclipse need to be rebolted. Bannisters, they look in good condition. These are no major structure, this is minor structure that can stay the way it is, but the post is being the major, uh, the major structure piece, so this needs to be reinforced. Okay, going up the, I uh, will stop the tape right here, but uh, uh, we point that out, bracket needs to be verified to the wall, and the whole, uh, if, you, if you may keep going, Frank, keep going too. Okay, man. Okay. So these connections here, they need to be bolted. Where the steel meets steel, they need to be bolted. They need to be bolted. And this frame right here needs to be verified because we don't know what's going on in the wall. Okay? So, again, Fire Escapes Engineers, 1-800-649-3333 with any questions. Thanks.